Hey everyone, we're hanging out with our amazing gardening expert, Nikki Jabour, and today Nikki's talking to us about tomato blight. Now, I'm kind of amazed that this is actually a tomato plant. And there's lots of different kinds of tomatoes, but this is indigo rose drops cherry tomato. Do, do all tomatoes get the same kind of blight? That's a really good question, yes. All tomatoes can get blight. And there's two main types of blight. There's early blight and late blight. And if you have to have one, you want to get early blight. <laughs> Early blight uh, generally starts in usually midsummer, uh, and you'll see little brown holes on the bottom foliage. Eventually, the foliage can kind of turn yellow and it moves up the plant. So uh, essentially what I like to do, I mulch my plants. Mulching your plants with straw is really beneficial for preventing blight. It also helps if you remove the bottom leaves of your tomato plants as they grow. That'll also help prevent the, the pathogen from spreading up your plants. Perfect. So that's early blight. early blight. What is light, late blight? The first sign of late blight is greasy spots on your leaves to the tomatoes. Uh, and once you see the greasy spots on your leaves, it's kind of game over. You got to pull those plants out, put uh, them in the garbage, burn them, you know, do not try to save them because within a few days they'll look completely burned, almost like you'd put a blowtorch over the plants. So early blight, you're good. Late blight, you're in trouble. If you guys have any questions for Nikki, write to us and just put it in the comment section. We love your feedback no matter what. And also you can subscribe to us on the YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. EasyTVOnline.com.